So let's go to module one so you can see all of the features that I use from the lessons tool. And I really like this lessons tool because it's a one-stop shop for all the course content. So it allows students to access all the other things that I've entered in these various other tools in one place each week of the course. So you'll see here again, I do an overview where I bring in some facts or anecdotes about the topic that week. In this case, um, I challenged the notion that it was hard science that put a human on the moon and that it had a lot to do with politics and economics. I include an introductory video from Warpwire. And if I go back to the top here on the right-hand side, you'll see I include important dates, both for that module, as well as the date at the end of the course. So that's always in front of them, um, each module. I include that checklist, which is nice. They can say, oh, I've watched the intro video. I've completed the readings, et cetera. And I include the learning objectives for each module that map to the course learning outcomes for the SSC 200 course. And if I scroll to the bottom, you'll see all the content for this module. You'll see the readings, which I've um, uploaded to the resources um, tab. Um, so students here can click on each one without having to go into resources. I bring in supplementary materials. In this case, there's a TED Talk that introduces them to social science. So I've embedded that from YouTube. The discussion forum, um, the topic is here. Um, and typically, it disappeared since this was a previous iteration of the class, I believe. But there would be a link right here to the discussion forum for that week. So they don't have to go up and navigate the menu um, on the left-hand side. And then each module's short assignment, in this case, a proposal for the longer term semester paper that they'll be working on. Um, they can click right here and have access to submit that particular assignment. 